Hi folks, Allison here, UVLT's Programs Director, and I am coming to you today for Field Notes Friday with some butterfly content. So um, first, let me just apologize that this video is a little shaky. It was pretty windy when I took it and the plants kept moving. Um, so this butterfly, I believe to be a pearl crescent butterfly, and that is my best guess. If anyone out there is a butterfly expert, please feel free to correct me because this um, is a very common butterfly in the eastern United States, but it's also very easily confused with both the northern and tawny crescent, um, with some kinds of orange fritillaries, and with the silver checker spot butterfly. So, grain of salt with that identification, but I am going to talk about pearl crescent butterflies today. Um, they, uh, they have habitat in fields, mostly pastures, road edges, um, any kind of open sunny habitat. Um, and what this one here is doing is finding nectar from wildflowers that are, are on the sides of this field. Um, crescents, pearl crescents can visit a wide variety of flowers in their butterfly form, including dogbane, swamp milkweed, and asters. Um, Asters are actually the uh, primary food for their larval stage when they are caterpillars. They eat asters, and you see this one here is on an aster. Um, and they, so all butterflies uh, get nectar from flowers by using, um, the, some places call it a, to a tongue, but it's not really a tongue, it's a proboscis, which is like a tube-like structure that can be up to one and a half times their body length to get into that flower and get the sweet nectar from the flower. They don't actually taste using their proboscises, though. Um, they taste using their feet. Fun fact. Um, and so, finally, the way that you identify pearl crescents and how I've tried to identify this one is they're distinguished by their gold-colored um, hind wings that are sort of etched with darker veins, but also they don't have uh, variegated spotting like fritillaries have. And then on the underside of their wing, if you can get a look at it, there is a crescent-shaped um, spot that is uh, the identifying mark of a pearl crescent. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed this Phil Nights Friday, and I will see you next week. Hi, folks.